What's up everyone? This is Cedric Sky Seti and welcome back to the channel. And today is a special day because I've got one of my good friends here with me. And so why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Mike and I live here in South Korea. Awesome, awesome. So Mike is a fellow YouTuber as well. And so I'm gonna link his channel in the description. So make sure you check him out. But I asked Mike to be on the channel today because he is living in Korea. Mm -hmm. And he is also, if you couldn't tell, he is a foreigner in Korea. And so, uh, yeah, so I thought it'd be great to have him on the channel just to talk about his experience as a foreigner. Now, the thing is, there are many foreigners, especially these days that are coming to Korea and the foreigner population is growing. And so every foreigner who comes here has their own experience and it's unique to them. And so, you know, I think it would be insightful for you guys to hear the experience of different foreigners. So I'll have different guests come on to the channel. Anyways, I've got a couple of questions I wanna ask Mike. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So Mike, tell us where you're from originally. All right, so originally I am from uh, Augusta, Georgia, as well as Fayetteville, North Carolina. So oh, just- Oh snap. Yep, from the <laughs> south, up, from the hey, southeast. No. Yep, yep. So uh, for those of you guys that don't know, I'm actually from Fayetteville, that's my hometown. And how long have you been in Korea? Uh, so far I've been in Korea for about four and a half years now. Okay. Yeah, awesome. so time flew. I mean, I can't believe I've been here this long. That's crazy. I've, I'm going on one year myself. So yeah, it's crazy. So what made you decide to come to Korea? So um, I'm actually a uh, teacher. I was a teacher back at home uh, in public schools, taught for about four-ish years. And uh, while teaching in the schools, I just got really just frustrated with just how they were ran, uh, public education, even though I love being in the classroom. Um, teachers didn't get paid that much. We didn't get that many resources. Right. But um, I've always had a love for um, living internationally. And I used to live in Japan. And um, I was approached by a teacher who was from, um, she was from Ghana. And she was like, you know, you really should look into teaching at international schools. And the only thing I knew about teaching internationally was with the military, right? Doing Dodd schools. Okay. But she was like, no, there's actually more than that. And so she told me to research. I did research and then eventually, finally, uh, found the current school that I'm working at here in South Korea. Right. And just love it. Right, and so you are, because um, most foreigners that at least I come across, they come here as epic teachers, but your situation is a little different, mm -hmm. right? So you are working at an international school. Exactly. Right, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so you've been here a couple of years, mm -hmm. you're working as a teacher. Uh, so as a foreigner, how has your experience been overall? I would say my experience overall has been extremely positive and, and I ran across a lot of other people who uh, their opinion is a little bit different than mine. Um, but I believe the reason why my experience is so great is because I came into a community that was very tight knit, a foreign community that was very tight knit. Right, right. And it was also connect to a Korean community that was also pretty supportive. And so I felt nothing but just love and support ever since I came here. And so that's just one reason why I just stayed as well. Nice, so community and just the people that you're surrounded with really helped you with that transition. Uh-huh. Nice, nice. So uh, with that being said, so being in Korea, what are some of the, the good things that you like about it? Like, what do you love about Korea? If I can ask you your top three things, what would you say? Ooh, my top three things about Korea, I feel that foreign people here, non-Koreans here, uh, they tend to come together a lot easier, mm. a lot more than back at home. Not That's true. Back That's at home. true. And uh, because, you know, we're kind of so far away from our home, right? Being American, really far. And so naturally, Americans tend to here come together, right? Because they have that one thing in common. Right. And it's funny, I've noticed that, like, I've, uh, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but like here, like I have, I have my Korean friends here, but I also have like my foreigner friends. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's like a lot of them that I'm pretty close with here or I hang out with here. It's funny in the States, they wouldn't be my crew. Like right, I, I wouldn't exactly. hang out with them. So it's, it's funny because like being in a, a foreign land, you know, you, you kind of have at least something that you have in common right off the bat. Exactly. So it makes it easier to connect with other people. So I think that's actually a good thing. You know, because mm -hmm. usually I'm used to staying in my lane with the type of people that I, you know, usually hang out with. Right. So, yeah, that's that's pretty cool to hear that. Yeah, exactly. I feel that exact same way. Right. Yeah, I never would have been been friends with some of the people that I am with here back home. Right, but we would have been cool. We would have right? been cool. Oh, right, right. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. oh, God, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> cool, cool. So, all right, so you've got that. What else? What else do you like about Korea? I love that a lot of Koreans are really interested in foreign culture. 
and uh, I've been approached many times by Koreans, some some creepy, some actually kind of <laughs> cool, and uh, they just um, just wanted to know about me, where I was from, why I was mm -hmm. here in Korea, and some legitimately wanted to have genuine friendships. Right. And uh, and I still have some of those friendships today. Awesome, awesome. Okay, you've got that. One, one more thing, give me one more thing. One Enjoy. more thing. There's a lot to do here. Mm. You know, the cool thing about Korea is that it's only so big. I think it's like the size of Georgia-ish, right? And so public transportation here is wonderful. Right. It's easy to go, go from one side of the country to the other in a day. Right. And it's just tons of things to do here, tons of things to eat here. I love it. It's it's night and day from Fayetteville, right? Ah, yes. <laughs> we can go on all day, or maybe we, we can't because there's not a lot to do in Fayetteville, but like <laughs> Fayetteville is interesting because it's mm -hmm. a big city. I think, uh, and this is years ago, but the population, um, at, at least, a decade ago was like mm -hmm. 260, maybe going on 300,000. Yeah. So it's a pretty big city, but mm -hmm. it's not dense. And right. it's like, uh, we were even kidding the other the other week, um, I think it was on your live stream, right? Like mm -hmm. to go to a coffee shop, you gotta, well, I had to drive like 20 minutes to yes. go to like a, the one out of like five dope coffee shops in Fayetteville. And so in Korea, it's yeah. different because you walk mm -hmm. out the door and then there's like five coffee shops. It's like bam, 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 yeah, bam, bam, right? Right next to each other. Yeah, right? but in Fayetteville, no, you walk out, there might be a Starbucks, but I would say out of all the five coffee shops, maybe three of them are Starbucks. Right, exactly, right? <laughs> exactly. So I don't know, maybe Fayetteville's changing a little bit because mm -hmm. I've been in Jersey for five years and I moved here, so maybe things are changing. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you guys are in the 910 area, don't hate on us, but uh, you know, that's just what I remember. But Korea is so different because I mean, there's so much to do, right? Mm -hmm. It's so fun. Awesome, awesome. So um, being a foreigner here, you know, you've mm -hmm. got the things that you like, but of course every foreigner um, has has their set of challenges, right? Right, So right. Um, can you talk about some of the challenges you face as a foreigner here? I would say some of the challenges that I face as a foreigner would probably be language. And I think just a lot of foreigners face that. And for me, right. I, I had this thing about language where I want to live comfortably. And some foreigners are okay with not ever mastering Korean or with ever getting, without getting like a strong grasp of it. Right. But for me, um, because I want to live comfortably, I understand how much of the language I really need to be proficient at. True. And so I've always struggled with trying to hold conversations, you know, with Koreans, uh, hold uh, meaningful conversations, not just right, like right. the like, Oh, where are you from? What do you do here? Right. Um, do you like kimchi? Like no, right, right, <laughs> those right. conversations, but just like legitimate, uh, in-depth conversations that can really build like relationship. Right. And uh, it's something I've That's struggled a big with. One. That's a big one. That and family. That and family. Because mm. I love it here, but the hardest thing about living here is I have tons of friends. Right. I have friends that are close as family, but I don't have my actual blood. Right. Here, and I oh, think that's right. probably the yeah. toughest. Right, that is tough, that yeah. is tough. Um, that's probably, I think most foreigners um, can, can probably say that, mm -hmm. you know, as far as like missing their family. One last question I wanna ask you mm -hmm. um, is, as a foreigner who is interested in Korea and wanting to move here, or for foreigners that are actually living here, mm -hmm. what is your best advice that you can give them? Wow, um, my best advice for anyone who is interested in living in Korea is to come empty to come empty. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of people come uh, with expectations. They come either positive and negative, thinking Korea is going to be like this. Right. And then they end up getting broken hearted because something happened to them. Right. Um, and then they start comparing. And, and one thing I hate seeing is when sometimes we compare uh, things bad that happened in the US and we compare it to Korea. So like you have a bad experience in the US, mm -hmm. you have a bad experience in Korea, okay. Now you start to see them as the same, especially just being, you know, black American. I right, see right. some other black people be really upset and they start comparing and I'm like, don't do that. You cannot see Korea as the same as the US. Right, right. right? So just come empty, come without expectation and just kind of just build um, this fresh view of Korea while living the life here.
Oh man, that's awesome. That's awesome. I like that. So I really appreciate that. Um, and hopefully you guys out there can appreciate his advice too. Mike, I really appreciate you being on the channel. Thank you. Um, I loved it. This is definitely not going to be the last time. So uh, I actually, and me and Mike already kind of talked about it, but I'm going to have him back on the channel and we're going to actually talk a little bit more specifically about being black in Korea and his experience <laughs> and also, uh, you know, some advice that he can get from his mm -hmm. perspective. And so mm -hmm. that'll be another video. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, but yeah, so I think we're gonna end it here again check out Mike's channel He does Korean culture related content as well, and he has a he has a very uh, comedic approach too But his channel is really awesome. So check it out and definitely subscribe and follow him um, Yeah, so and if you guys are not following this channel or if you're not subscribed to this channel hit that subscribe button click that notification bell and also select that you want to receive every notification because I think YouTube is requiring that so yes. so anyways uh, follow us on social media I'll link it down below and yeah, that's it. We're gonna end it here. We'll see you guys in the next video Thank you so much for watching and remember to always seize the day peace